Okay, today we're going to start a no tan design, which is a Japanese design created primarily with black and white. Traditionally, no tan designs are made using cut paper, but we're going to use Photoshop. So on your dock, find the blue box with the PS in it. If that blue box does not appear in your dock, you can go to your hard drive and find the Applications folder and go to Adobe Photoshop and find it there and double click to open it. Once you have Photoshop open, we need to create a file, new, and we're going to make a new document. You can call this the name of your file, Notan Design. You can also then set the width at 12 inches, the height at 12 inches, the resolution at 150, and make sure that's marked pixels slash inch. Mode color, RGB color, 8-bit, and make sure the background is marked as white. Once you have those settings, go ahead and click OK. This will set up your new piece of paper that you're going to be working on. I always like to drag my window open just a little bit so I can see a little bit of the gray desktop behind my paper. Next, if you do not see rulers across the top and left hand side, we need to get that set so that you can. Those will be very helpful for what we're going to do next. Across the top, go to View, click on that, and go down to Rulers and make sure that there's a check mark in front of the word rulers. That will give us rulers across the top and the left. Now we need to set up a few guidelines. First we're going to click on the ruler at the top. Click and hold and then you're going to drag down and you'll notice that a line comes down with you. And we want to set this line up at three inches down the left hand side and let go. This blue line now appears and that will help us to line things up in a minute. Now we're going to do the same on the left hand side ruler. Click and hold and drag over and right across the top make sure that it lines up with the three and let go. This is going to help us in a minute. Now we need to draw a black box to work from. Traditionally the black box would be a piece of paper that would be, we would be working with. Second tool from the top is the selection tool. It's called the marquee tool. You can either make square selections, round selections, or some other single column selections. We want to make sure that it is a box, a square. We're going to select and make a box. Line up your little crossbars at the zero and the zero. You're going to draw a box. So once you click and hold, hold your shift key, drag it over so that you have a perfect six inch square. And let go. Now click inside that box and you're going to move it over so that the top left corner of that square matches up where our two guidelines from our rulers match up. Now we're ready to go ahead and paint our box black. That will be like the black piece of paper that traditional no tan designs use when they create their their image. Now in the bottom at the bottom of your toolbar you have two little boxes of color. We want to make sure that those two little boxes are black and white. If white is on top of the black, we need to switch it so that the black is on top of the white. So I'm going to click the little switch tool and now the black is on top. I'm now going to go find my paint bucket. My paint bucket might be hidden under the gradient tool. If it is, you just move down and select or highlight the paint bucket tool and let go. Now we're going to move our paint bucket inside 
the selected box, the square, and paint. Now we have a piece of paper, but we still need to get rid of the selection or the marching ants around it. So we're going to go select, deselect, and now we're ready to go. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start making some shapes that we're going to cut out and flip to the outside in the white area to make our design. The third tool from the top is the lasso tool. And you want it to look like a lasso. You could use the polygonal lasso tool. The magnetic lasso tool will not work for this project, but I like the lasso tool because it gives us an opportunity to do some freehand designs. So go ahead and select that. What you're going to do is kind of just start on one edge of your box. And you can start anywhere on there, but I'm going to start somewhere around the middle. And I'm going to start very close to where the black and the white meets. I'm going to click and hold, and I'm just going to freehand draw an organic shape, and then come back and connect it to where I started. Now you can see that I have that part selected. What I now need to do is I need to go edit across the top, transform, flip vertical because I want to take it from the inside of the box to put it on the outside, on top of the box. And it looks kind of funny for right now, but if you move your cursor inside that little box, you get a little arrow that tells us that we can move that shape. I can move it so then the shape is even where the black and the white begins. I wouldn't want to move it clear out here. I want my shape to be connected. Now I can go select, deselect, and I have my first black and white reversed shape. Now I can continue to do shapes around my my no tan black square and now this one that I did on the side I do not want to flip it vertically what I want to do instead is edit transform flip horizontal because I want it to flip from side to side not from top to bottom again I click inside my little shape, get the arrow tool, and move it to the outside. You can see that you can do this very easily. Notice I still have my selection, so I need to go select, deselect. Now I'm doing just very simple organic shapes. You could try to draw something um, let's say I'm going to try down here. I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to try to draw a heart. And maybe it's not very good because that's kind of hard to do on the computer. It is selected. Now this one, I don't want to flip side to side. I want it to flip top to bottom. So I'm going to go edit, transform, flip vertical, move my cursor inside the object, and I can move it to the outside and match it up. And then deselect. You get the idea. You're going to do this on all four sides. You should have more than one design on all four sides. In fact, you want to use as much of the black square as you can to create your design. Think back to when you researched on the internet no tan design images. That's what we want to look for is very full designs that flip from black to white. Remember when you're working in Photoshop it's very important to do file, save, or save as often so that you do not lose any of your work. You want to save first 
as a Photoshop document. Remember where you save it to. I'm saving mine to my desktop. Maybe you have on your desktop an art folder, or maybe you'd like to create one. Just always remember where you save it to so that you can work on it again another time. And I'm going to call this Sternhagen dash no tan design and I will save it. Now it is on my desktop. If I want to continue to work another time, I can. Now also, once we are at this point, it would be okay for us to come back, hit the move tool at the very top of your toolbars and you can now click on those blue lines that we made with our ruler and drag them completely off your paper. Then they aren't there anymore and we can't see them when we finish our design. Let's just pretend that I have done enough work on all four sides of my no tan design and I'm ready to save it to hand it in. You absolutely, positively must re-save your design. So save it. And now this time you need to do a save as and remember when the format was not Photoshop and we had to change it? Well now we need to change that format to be a JPEG. This means that I'm going to be able to see your image once you upload it and submit it to the assignment on Canvas. Notice it changed it to JPG. So I would save that likely on my desktop again so I know where I'm going to find it. These settings are all fine and click OK. You'll notice here is my JPEG image. Here is my PSD Photoshop document. Here is my JPEG that you will upload. If you try to upload the PSD document to your assignment on Canvas, it will give you an error and say it cannot be uploaded. It must be saved and then uploaded as a JPEG. I hope you enjoy having time to spend cutting shapes out on the computer and flipping them to get them to be around the outside edge of your, your no-tan design. Happy cutting, or so to say, on the computer.